all my fantasy hardcovers. G'day to all you lovely people and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kathy, and today I'm going to show you the rest of my fantasy collection. I've already done a part one, which is basically all my fantasy paperbacks, and I will link that in my description box below as well as up here if you haven't seen that video already. In this video, I'm going to show you all the fantasy books in my TBR shelves, and I have three places where I store those, as well as all my fantasy hardcovers, which are behind me. Recently, I rearranged my hardcover shelves. All my books used to be stored alphabetically, regardless of genre, but I decided to put my fantasy together with the small sci-fi collection, separate from my other books. And they are all alphabetical, except for a few that have pride of place because they're my favorite series. I do think this video is still a little long, so grab a snack and a beverage of your choice. Sit back and enjoy. This is one of my TBR shelves where I store the books that I want to read soon. Many of the books in my TBR shelves are by authors that are new to me that I want to try. Now, some of these books you might have already seen in the first part of my fantasy bookshelf tour because they get shuffled around all the time. The City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. It's the first book. I think it's the Darvel series. The Ninth Rain by Jen Williams. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I'm actually not intending to read it just yet because the series isn't finished. The Way of Shadows by Brent Weeks. I think it's the Night Angel series. This is the first book which I've had for a long time. Hyperion by Dan Simmons, which I'm looking to read very soon. Book two, The Fall of Hyperion. Three, Endymion. For the Rise of Endymion. Mirren's Gift by Fiona McIntosh, the first book in the Quickening series. Catherine Kerr, A Time of War, the third book in the Westland Cycle, the second arc in her Deveri series. The fourth book, A Time of Justice. I've already read the first two. Ship of Magic, book one in the Life Ship Traders by Robin Hobb. I'm halfway through this and haven't been able to bring myself to finish it, but hopefully I will soon. Sebastian by Anne Bishop. I was gifted this by someone. These are the next few Discworld books that I'm up to. The Truth, Thief of Time, and Night Watch. This is my first Broken Binding purchase. Benedict Jacker, An Inheritance of Magic. He wrote the Alex Viris series. Gareth Brown, The Book of Doors. In fact, I just read this. Kagan the Damned by Jonathan Mayberry. Children of Time by Adrian Tchaikovsky. Dandelion Wine by Ray Bradbury. Streams of Silver, the second book in the Icewind Dale trilogy by Salvatore. I'm rereading this series and I've already read the first book. Book three, The Halfling's Gem. The first book in the Troy game series by Sarah Douglas, Hades' Daughter. The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson, the first book in the Stormlight Archive. Everyone suggests I read this since I didn't like Mistborn. 
The Will of the Many, The New Internet Darling by James Islington, who is actually Australian and lives in my state. Wolfblade, the first book in the Wolfblade trilogy by Jennifer Fallon, another Australian. The Forgetting Moon by Brian Lee Durfee, who is also a book YouTuber. I think this is the Five Warrior Angel series. This is part of the Foundry Side Trilogy by Robert Jackson Bennett. I cannot find the first book. This is the second book, Shorefall, and I absolutely love these covers. Book three, Locklands. Star Wars Allegiance by Timothy Zahn. It's another of his Star Wars books. The Tower of Fools is the first book in the Hussite Trilogy by Andrzej Sapkowski, who wrote the Witcher books. Book two, Warriors of God. Three, Light Perpetual. Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials. I've had this so many years, but I've never read it. It includes The Golden Compass, The Subtle Knife, and The Amber Spyglass. Catherine Kurtz, the Legends of Camber of Kaldi. I found these somewhere and I bought them secondhand. The first book is Camber of Kaldi. Two, Saint Camber. I believe there's a third, but I don't have it. Prince of the Blood by Raymond E. Feist. I've read this before, but I want to reread it. The King's Buccaneer, also by Feist. These are the fourth and fifth books in the Rift War saga or cycle. The Serpent War saga by Raymond Feist. This is the first book, Shadow of a Dark Queen. The Boreal Moon trilogy by Julian May. The first book is Conqueror's Moon. Two, Iron Crown Moon. Three, Sorcerer's Moon. I love these covers. Star Wars Thrawn Ascendancy Trilogy by Timothy Zahn, his latest. The first book is Chaos Rising. Book two, Greater Good. Three, Lesser Evil, which my puppy got to. <laughs> This is my classic shelf and my other TBR shelf. I only bought this recently. I needed more room. This is the latest book in the Hunger Games series by Suzanne Collins, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. The Maze Runner by James Dashner. I really like the film. Ray Bradbury, The Martian Chronicles. Age of Assassins by R.J. Barker. The Last Herald Mage Trilogy by Mercedes Lackey. Because I only have the first book in this series. I found it recently. Sean Williams, The Stone Mage and the Sea. Apparently this is another Australian author I haven't tried before. Anthony Ryan, Blood Song. Age of Ash by Daniel Abraham, the first book in the Kithama Trilogy. Abandoned by Blake Crouch. The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. The Foundation Trilogy by Isaac Asimov, the Everyman's Library Edition. Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. She's an Australian author and I thought I should give this a go. It's more middle grade, I think, though. The second book, Wondersmith. But just look at how cute these are. I love the sprayed edges. A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. I got this for my birthday a few years ago, but I suspect it's YA. 
Trudy Canavan, The Magician's Apprentice, a prequel to the Black Magician trilogy. Prince of Thorns by Mark Lawrence, the first book in the Broken Empire series. Douglas Adams, The Dirk Gently Omnibus. This is the third place where I keep my TBR books. It's on top of my TV cabinet. The next few books are ones I just received recently. Ray Bradbury, Something Wicked This Way Comes. I love this cover. Philip K. Dick, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Now these I've had for a while. The Lies of Lockie Lamora by Scott Lynch, the first in the Gentleman Bastard series. Malice, the first book in the Faith and the Fallen series by John Gwynn. Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman, which is about witches. I've been wanting to read this for a while. The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell by Susanna Clark. Neil Gaiman, Stardust. I like the film. Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett, Good Omens. I want to read this soon. Stephen Erickson, Gardens of the Moon, the first book in the Malazan series, which I actually just started a couple of days ago. The second book, Dead House Gates. The Three Body Problem by Liu Su Xin. I learned how to pronounce it by a friend of mine. It includes The Three-Body Problem, The Dark Forest, and Death's End. I actually received this for my birthday recently. The Fifth Elephant by Terry Pratchett, the Discworld book I'm up to right now. These next few books don't actually fit on my hardcover shelf. They're somewhere else. I thought I'd include them. The Forever King by Molly Cochran and Warren Murphy. The Bitterbine Trilogy by Cecilia Dart Thornton. The first book is The Ill-Made Mute. Two, The Lady of the Sorrows. Three, The Battle of Evernight. By the same author, The Crow Thistle Chronicles. The first book is The Iron Tree. Book two, The Well of Tears. I love these covers. I think they're beautiful. The third book, Weather Witch. This is my June trilogy by Frank Herbert. I love this edition. It's a beautiful leather bound book. It includes June, June Messiah and Children of June. It usually sits in my classic shelf. <laughs> Throne a Glass by Sarah J. Mass. I tried this, hated it. So I will be unhauling it soon, I think. These next few books I just received in the last few days. Orson Scott Card, Shadow of the Hegemon. It is part of the Shadow Saga. Shadow Puppets is book three of the Shadow Saga. This is the Rift Runners series by Jennifer Fallon. The first book is The Undivided. I cannot find the third yet, but I'm still looking. Book two, The Dark Divide. On these shelves are all my hardcovers. I don't have as many fantasy hardcovers as paperbacks because they were always so expensive in Australia or just difficult to find. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I love this trilogy in five parts and I've read it many times. Prelude to Foundation by Isaac Asimov. Ray Bradbury, Fahrenheit 451. One of my favorite books that I've read in the last five years. The Mists of Avalon by Marion Zimmer Bradley. 
the sequel, Lady of Avalon. Firebrand by Bradley, this is a retelling of Cassandra of Troy. I don't know why I've got this. Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace by Terry Brooks. I love the Red Rising series by Pierce Brown so much that I bought all the books in hardcover. This is the first book, Red Rising. Book 2, Golden Sun. Book 3, Morning Star. The next few books are sequels to the Red Rising trilogy. The first is Iron Gold. Dark Age and Lightbringer, his most recent, which I had a lot of trouble getting a hold of. I have not read these and won't until the series is complete. I think it's not too far off, hopefully. Okay, this is my Jim Butcher collection of the Dresden Files. I absolutely love this series, but boy, has it been difficult to get them in hardcover. Stormfront is the first book in the series and was a gift from my friend Jacqueline for my birthday. I don't have books two to eight. Book nine, White Knight. Side Jobs is a collection of short stories. Book ten and one of my favorites, Small Favor. 11, Turncoat. 12, Changes. The rest of the books are in a different edition. I think these are the UK ones and actually match my paperbacks, which I prefer. This is book 13, Ghost Story. 14, Cold Days. Briefcases is another short story collection. 15, Skin Game, another favourite of mine. 16, Peace Talks. And the last published book, Battleground. The Aeronauts Windlass is the first book in the Cinder Spy series, also by Jim Butcher, which I really want to read. Book 2, The Olympian Affair. 2010 Odyssey 2 by Arthur C. Clarke is the second book in the Space Odyssey series. I just read the first one and when I saw these, I decided to buy them. 2061 Odyssey 3 is book 3. 3001 The Final Odyssey is book 4. I don't think those are the final book. I found the first three books in the Expand series in a box set of hardcovers by James Corey, so I bought them. The first book is Leviathan Wakes. Book two, Caliban's War. Three, Abaddon's Gate. The Nutcracker is a gift from my friend, Jacqueline. I just love him. And the statue is the goddess Nyx of the night and magic. Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. I absolutely love this book and fell in love with the author because of it. It's probably one of my favorites that I've read in the last five years as well. Recursion, also by Crouch. And his most recent upgrade. Okay, the Wayfarer Redemption series by Sarah Douglas. This is where it gets confusing. In Australia, this series is split into two trilogies, the Axis Trilogy and the Wayfarer Redemption. But in the States, it's all one series called the Wayfarer Redemption. I had to buy the hardcovers from the US because for some reason, they weren't all brought out in Australia, even though Douglas was an Australian author. How crazy is that? Anyway, the first book in Australia is called Battle Axe, but in the US edition, it is The Wayfarer Redemption. 
Book Two, Enchanter. Three, Starman. Four, Sinner. Though, in fact, from here on, this is what is called the Wayfarer Redemption Series in Australia. Five, Pilgrim. And six, Crusader. The next two books are trade paperbacks of what is called the Wayfarer Redemption series in Australia and I've kept them because they have both been signed by the author herself who has sadly passed away. This is book one, Sinner. Three, Crusader. I have the second book in a mass paperback. Also by Douglas, the Crucible trilogy. The first book is The Nameless Day. Book two, The Wounded Hawk. Three, The Crippled Angel. This is the Dark Glass Mountain trilogy by Douglas. The first book is The Serpent Bright. I actually don't think I've read this. I thought I had. Two, The Twisted Citadel. Three, The Infinity Gate. God's Concubine is the second book in the Troy game series by Douglas. I have the first book in my TBR. Book three, Dark Witch Rising. I really love these covers. The final book, Druid's Sword. Now this is the beginning of my David Eddings collection. I have, I think, all of his books except for the Bulgaria because they're very hard to find in hardcover and The Dreamers, which I have got in a box to unhaul because I hated it so much. The Redemption of Althalus is a standalone book by him. The Riven Codex, which refers to the Belgariad. The Wheel of Time and the Dark Tower series are my two favourite fantasy series, so they have Pride of Place, in my bookshelves, right in the middle. This is my Robert Jordan collection. If his name was on it, I bought it. This is the Conan Chronicles, which I've actually read. This is the beginning of my Wheel of Time collection. I believe they're first editions, though I could be wrong. New Spring is a prequel to the series. The Eye of the World is the first book in the actual series itself. Book two, The Great Hunt. I love these covers. They're so familiar. Three, The Dragon Reborn. Four, The Shadow Rising. Five, The Fires of Heaven. Six, Lord of Chaos. Seven, A Crown of Swords. Eight, The Path of Daggers. Nine, Winter's Heart. Ten, Crossroads of Twilight. Eleven, Knife of Dreams. And really the last book that Jordan wrote. Jordan passed away before finishing the series, but he left very detailed notes. And Brandon Sanderson wrote the rest of the books in the series. And I think he did an excellent job at capturing Jordan's style. This is book 12, The Gathering Storm. 13, A Memory of Light. The final book, Towers of Midnight. This is my Dark Tower collection by Stephen King because it is my equal favourite fantasy series. The first book is The Gunslinger and boy do I love these covers by Michael Whelan. Book two, The Drawing of the Three. Book three, The Wastelands. Four, Wizard and Glass. Five, Wolves of the Keller. 
6, Song of Susanna. And the final book, The Dark Tower. The Wind Through the Keyhole is the last book he wrote in this series, but it sits somewhere in the middle. Continuing with my David Eddings collection, Polgara the Sorceress is a prequel to the Balgariot, and she's one of my favourite characters. Balgareth the Sorcerer is also a prequel to the Balgariot. This is the Malarian series, which I had to source overseas. It is the sequel to the Balgariot by Eddings. The first book is Guardians of the West. Book 2, King of the Murgos. 3, Demon Lord of Karanda. 4, Sorceress of Dasheva. The final book, The Seeress of Cal. This is the Elenium series by David Eddings, my favourite because it has Sparhawk. The first book is The Diamond Throne. Book 2, The Ruby Knight. 3, The Sapphire Rose. This is the Tamali series, which is the sequel to the Elenium series. The first book is Domes of Fire. 2, The Shining Ones. 3, The Hidden City. Kate Elliott's Crossroads Trilogy. I just read this. The first book is Spirit Gate. Two, Shadow Gate. The third book, Traitor's Gate. I forgot I had this. Phyllis Eisenstein, Born to Exile. I have not read this. Warrior is the second book in the Wolf Blade trilogy by Jennifer Fallon. The first is in my TBR. Book three, Warlord. This is the beginning of my Raymond E. Feist collection. You'll notice when I love an author, I tend to buy all of their books or as many as I can find. This is a special edition of The Magician, which I think might be split into two books in the States. And it is the first book in the Riff War Saga. Book 2, Silverthorn. 3, A Darkness at Sethanon. The Serpent War Saga by Feist. Rise of a Merchant Prince is the second book. The first is in my TBR. 3, Rage of a Demon King. Four, Shards of a Broken Crown. The Conclave of Shadows series by Feist. The first book is Talon of the Silver Hawk. Two, Exiles Return. The third book in the Conclave of Shadows, King of Foxes. The Riff War Legacy Trilogy by Feist. The first book is Crondor, The Betrayal. Two, Crondor, The Assassins. Three, Crondor, Tear of the Gods. Four, which is a novella, Jimmy and the Crawler. The Dark War Saga by Feist, Flight of the Nighthawks is the first book. Two, Into a Dark Realm. Three, Wrath of a Mad God. This is The Legends of the Rift War, Honoured Enemy is the first book, which he wrote with William Forshen. I don't know how to pronounce that. The second book, Murder in La Marte, which he wrote with Joel Rosenberg. The third book, 
Jimmy the Hand, which he wrote with Steve Sterling. I am missing a few books by Feist. This is the third book in the Firemane saga, Master of Furies. I think it's his most recent book. I'm not sure if I should include this. Ken Follett, The Pillars of the Earth. I thought this was fantasy, but when I tried it, it came across as historical fiction to me. David Gimmel, The First Chronicles of Druss the Legend. I really like the character Druss, but Gemmell's books are very hard to find. This is the Sword of Truth series by Terry Goodkind. I know he's not popular on YouTube, but I really enjoyed this series and I've read it several times. I also found the hardcovers very cheap. The first book is Wizard's First Rule. Book 2, Stone of Tears. 3, Blood of the Fold. 4, Temple of the Winds. 5, Soul of the Fire. 6, Faith of the Fallen. 7, The Pillars of Creation. 8, Naked Empire. 9, Chainfire. 10, Phantom. 11, which I think is the final book really, Confessor. The Omen Machine is a sequel to the series. The first Confessor is actually a prequel. Dead of Bones is also a prequel to the Sword of Truth series. The Law of Nines is also part of this universe, but it takes place in modern day times. Rheingold by Stefan Grundy. I've had this a long time, but I have not read it yet. I should. Charlene Harris. These are the Suki Stackhouse books that I have in hardcover. Dead in the Family is Book 10. 11, Dead Reckoning. Book 12, Deadlocked. And as you can see, it's a different edition, but I have found an edition that matches my others. And the last one, Dead Ever After. The Tawny Man Trilogy by Robin Hobb. I found this trilogy in trade paperback for a steal though i haven't read them yet the first book is fool's errand two the golden fool three fool's fate a song for arbon by guy gabriel k i've had this a very long time stephen king and peter strom Black House, which is the sequel to The Talisman, which is a fantasy novel. The Eyes of the Dragon by King, which is also fantasy. I love this cover. Empire of the Vampire by J. Kristoff. I don't have the second book yet, but I will get it eventually. The White Griffin by Mercedes Lecky and Larry Dixon. This is the second book in the Dragon Mage War, I think, trilogy. I have the others in paperback. Gold Unicorn by Tanith Lee. I like this author. The Bridey Chronicles by Juliet Marilia. The first book is The Dark Mirror. Two, Blade of Four Trill. Three, The Well of Shades. Apparently, all my books are not alphabetical. I'll have to fix that. Freedom's Choice is the second book in the Katani series. I haven't got all of them, though I'm looking now. Book 4, Freedom's Ransom. 
Pegasus in Flight is the second book in the Talent series by McCaffrey. Julian May, Blood Trillium. I think this is the sequel to Black Trillium. Intervention by Julian May is like a bridging book between two of her series. Diamond Mask is the second book in the Galactic Milieu. I can't find the first yet. And Magnificat is the third. The Rampart World series by Julian May. The first book is Perseus Spear. I just read this trilogy. Book two, Orion Arm. Three, Sagittarius Whirl. I love this cover. A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. The first book in The Song of Ice and Fire. I believe these are all first editions. Book two, A Clash of Kings. Three, A Storm of Swords. Four, A Feast for Crows. Five, A Dance with Dragons. Mist was really big way back when, but I've never read this. The Gormenghast Trilogy by Mervyn Peak. I've had this a long time. Melanie Rawn, The Mage Born Trader. Book two in the Exile series. She hasn't finished it, unfortunately. I have several Anne Rice books in hardcover. This is The Vampire Armand, which is part of The Vampire Chronicles. The Tale of the Body Thief. This is also part of The Chronicles, and it's the first book I bought of hers. Memnock the Devil, the fifth book in the Vampire Chronicles. Robert Silverberg, Sorceress of Magipore. I don't know how to pronounce that. This is my Witcher series, which I bought in hardcover because I just adore these editions. I don't have all of them. I think I'm missing Sword of Destiny. I'm waiting for it to drop in price. The Last Wish is a prequel of short stories. Season of Storms is also a prequel of short stories. Blood of Elves is the first book in the series itself. Book two, The Time of Contempt. Look at these gorgeous covers. Three, Baptism of Fire. Four, The Tower of Swallows. Oh, I think it's mislabeled. And the final book, The Lady of the Lake. I just love these. <laughs> I have quite a few Star Wars fan fiction, but the truth is the only ones I really like are Timothy Zahn. This is The Crystal Star by Vonda McIntyre. Children of the Jedi by Barbara Hambly. The Courtship of Princess Leia by Dave Wolverton. The Truce at Baccarat by Kathy Tyers. There are some shelves in this middle bookshelf that we were just not able to pan, I'm afraid. Now this is what got me started in the Star Wars fan fiction and I love this book. This trilogy by Zan, it is called the Thrawn Trilogy. The first book is Heir to the Empire. Book two, Dark Force Rising. Three, The Last Command. Spectre of the Past is the first book in the Hand of Thrawn duology. Book two, Vision of the Future. Outbound Flight deals with Jedis, I think, prior to the Clone Wars. 
Survivor's Quest is another kind of standalone book, but it has Luke Skywalker. This is the Thrawn series, as opposed to the trilogy, and I love this cover. This is what I imagine Thrawn looks like. The first book is Thrawn. Book two, Thrawn Alliances. Three, Thrawn Treason. I just read this trilogy. Sherry S. Tepper, The True Game. This was a good book. This is a special edition of the J.R.R. Tolkien Lord of the Rings trilogy. It has all three books, obviously. Maria Tershkinov. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Neondell. This is the Legacy series by Matthew Ward. I have the rest of the books in hardcover. This is a trade paperback and it is the first book, Legacy of Ash. Book two, Legacy of Light. I really like these covers. And the third book, Legacy of Steel. This is the beginning of my Margaret Weiss collection because I'm a big fan of hers. My favourite series of hers is the one she wrote with Tracy Hickman, The Death Gate Cycle. And boy, were these really hard to find in hardcover. The first book is Dragon Wing. Book two, Elven Star. Three, Fire Sea. Book four, Serpent Mage. Five, The Hand of Chaos. Six, Into the Labyrinth. The final book, The Seventh Gate. This is the Star Shield series by Weiss and Hickman. The first book is Night Sword. Book two, Star Shield Sentinels. This is the Dragon Vault trilogy by Margaret Weiss alone. The first book is Mistress of Dragons. Book two, The Dragon's Son. Three, Master of Dragons. This is the Sovereign Stone trilogy which she wrote with Hickman. The first book is Well of Darkness. Two, Guardians of the Lost. Three, Journey into the Void. Tad Williams, The Otherlands series. I found this recently. The first book is City of Golden Shadow. Book two, River of Blue Fire. I don't have the complete series. Janie Watts. I have quite a few of her books. This is Keeper of the Keys, the second book in the cycle of fire. The Wars of Light and Shadow series by Janie Watts is one I've been reading since it first came out. The first book is Curse of the Miswraith. Book two, Ships of Meria. And this hardcover edition actually includes what's considered the third book, War Host at Vastmark. Book three is Fugitive Prince. Four, Grand Conspiracy. Five, Peril's Gate. Six, Traitor's Knot. Seven, Storm Fortress. I hate it when publishers do this. All the others are regular hardcovers, but this one is a smaller edition. It just bugs the crap out of me. Book eight, Initiates Trial. Nine, Destiny's Conflict. I have the last book on order, and then I want to finish this series. And the very last book is A Sorcerer's Treason by Sarah Zatel.
Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing the rest of my fantasy and sci-fi collection. And before you ask, no, I have not read all of them. I would say roughly it's between 65 and maybe 75 percent, roughly. <laughs> But that has been a benefit of making these videos for you guys. It's also brought books to my attention that I had forgotten about that I actually do want to read. And now, of course, I would love to hear what you think of my collection. And you can let me know down in the comments or you can contact me on Instagram. I really do hope you enjoyed this tour of all my fantasy collection and the little sci-fi I have. And if you did, then you can do the usual. You can like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already as it helps my channel to grow. I hope you all have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye. She's going to come with you. Ooh, Cleo, no, don't <laughs> me. It's hilarious. No, don't you need the camera. Cleo? No! <laughs> Go away! <laughs> Sorry, it, it is funny. <laughs> She wants to make sure you're all right. I am okay. Cleo, come. <laughs> Go away. Go over there. Go away. I wanted to thank all my patrons, but a big shout out to my book dragons, Laurie, Michael, Gabriella, Yavanka, Joe, and Johanna.